All right, in that last one, we kind of left off right in the middle of doing stuff. So let's just jump right back in and handle um, the time zone things. Now that we've got this offset, we can add this into our Ajax call. So let's go over to our Ajax. And above here, I'm gonna just put this stuff in here, tab it in. And of course we want to actually grab the same imports that we had. So in our views, just import those and put the utils right here. Okay, so now we've got this request session dismissed message for. Now we want to set our, our difference or the offset, we wanna actually set it in here. So if I cut this out and set it here, looks like we're ready to go, but we're not. Unfortunately, you can't just store a variable like this into the session. So what we have to do is store it as a string. Um, and then after we store it as a string, we'll have to eventually convert it back. All right, so now that we've got this, every time we hit that button or that Ajax, this is gonna set that offset of time for us. So that means in our middleware, we have to check that offset of time. Because if we don't check that offset of time, then this is always gonna show, right? So we have to do a few changes here. Now, first off, I'm gonna say marketing message. I'm just gonna call this marketing message and then press enter a few times here. And then our exception, we would put marketing message equals to false. Okay, so now if marketing message and something else and something else after that, then we will set our marketing message to be marketing message. So this will eventually set our our actual um, you know message itself into the session, assuming that it's true. Now we don't actually have to say if marketing message because if it's false, uh, we have our template set up to where it won't show it. Right, so if marketing message is false here, it still won't show it either way, but we might as well not run the function, uh, the other parts of the function if we don't. So now we have to get our actual session string here. So that's gonna be this. So back into middleware, we're gonna do try, and we'll say message offset equals to this, except message offset equals to none. So this is the message offset. And this is a string, as you remember, as string, where we want to set it, we want to actually compare the time between now and this. Now this is where it gets a little complicated. So to break down the complication, I created a function for us. And this is basically saying if the offset is greater than now. Um, so I'm gonna go through this function, I'm gonna tell you what it is, just so you know. Um, but it's, it, it is a little complicated and probably a little bit too, uh, too in-depth at this point. So I'm just going to just tell you what it is in just a moment. Um, so from here, we would actually convert this uh, offset here into some sort of time. So right here, we'll say it and off message is not none. So offset message is not none. So it's actually there. And... Um, is offset greater of the message offset. Specifically, which would be right here, right? So what we've got here now is if the message is there, so if there's actually a featured message, if the message offset is not none, so there's something in the session is saying that, and it's greater than t now. So if it's not none, and it's greater than now, then we were then timestamp the now timestamp is here. Um, so another one would be else if message offset is none, then we can set this. Because if there's no message offset, we still want to set this. So actually, we probably want this one to be first, the not not second, we want this one to be second just because um, the offset is not as likely, like we definitely want the message to so, show, so else if, so just change it. So if the message offset is none, then we'll show the marketing message. Uh, I'm actually now gonna get rid of that marketing message one. If it's not none and it's greater than the time set offset, then show it. 
else we are going to try to delete it. So we're going to try and delete the marketing message right here, the session of marketing message. Delete and then accept pass. Okay, so now let's go through it line by line, starting with the function that we've created up here. So time one is the string of the now time zone, and we cut off part of that time zone. And then we take off the offset time and we cut off that string, part of that string's time, right? So we also might wanna just double check to make sure that this is a string. Because uh, if it's not a string, then we're going to have some issue. But I'm going to leave that off because we definitely set it as a string here, right? This is where we set that string because we have to. Um, so back into our middleware. And um, now then what we do is we have to format the string from what we have, right? So we have to format it into a date and time format. Um, so that's what this does. So it takes date and time and then it strips the time from a string and then into this format right here, which is year, month, day, hour, minute, second. And then we make it time zone aware. So we actually make this formatted time into being time zone aware, which is fairly straightforward. We take that formatted time and then make it time zone aware. And then we format the now time because we cut off part of the now time and we format it in the exact same format. And then we make that one also time zone aware. Although in theory, it is pretty much time zone aware because it is now, but we had to strip off that last part. And the only way to do that is like this. There might be another way. If you guys find another way, let me know. Uh, and then finally, we compare these two. So the now time has to be greater than the offset time. And if it's true, then it will return true. If it's false, it will return false. Um, so we could also go through and print each one of these. So print uh, now time aware and print offset time aware so you can see that and then we can also print this result as well again so you can see that um, so that means that down here on this function this is where if it's not none if the offset is not none and it's greater than that offset time then we will do this if that's the case we can also delete that offset time uh, but but it's really not necessary because if they click it again it will show this stuff. So this will always work. Um, all right, so now that we've got all this kind of worked out, let's go ahead and test it. I'm gonna go back into the view and make sure, I'm actually gonna change this to seconds being eight seconds instead of hours because we wanna test it on a small scale first. And again, checking the middleware to make sure everything looks good. Um, so again, the message offset as in the offset time is a string so if it's none if there is no offset time then this first block won't run and neither will the second block and that means that it's going to delete the marketing message if it's there um, now if there is a timestamp or if it's if it is something so if it's not none then we will check to see whether or not that string is actually greater than uh, the time zone now okay so let's go ahead and check this out do a refresh, it looks like we got an error. So we've got unexpected indent here. So in here, this is the unexpected indent. So just pressing back on that will should fix that problem, and it does. All right, so we've got true here. So uh, I have true because I actually have already tested it, so let's actually go ahead and exit that off. Do a refresh, notice it's gone, right? So it says false, it's not greater. Okay, so it's false, it's false, it's false. Uh, so let's wait a few seconds and there it's back. So now it's true because the time actually did change. And notice the timestamps are a little bit different. So if I actually uh, printed out this time zone of now, so it's gonna go now, now aware, and then offset. So that's how we're gonna see it. If I refresh in here, I see now, see notice all this other stuff. If I didn't turn it into a string and then get only the first 19 characters, then I wouldn't have, um, I would have all this other extra stuff and there would have been a formatting error and issue and stuff like that. So we just got rid of that formatting issue and now we can compare it against that closeout. So now we have a certain duration that we can allow that offset to be gone. 
because we don't want it gone forever, right? That would be crazy for us to have it always gone. Uh, so now it's based off of our session and also a time uh, that we're working with. So if we go back into our view, this is where we can actually set where, how we want this offset to be. So here, this is where I'm gonna think, oh, well maybe I want this in uh, my settings. So then I can set the offset itself. And that's what I'll do is I'll go from django.conf import settings. And now I'll do the time, the time delta offset. So I'll just say marketing, I'll call it marketing dismiss offset. And now in my settings, so in base.ht or settings.apy, I'm going to paste in seconds equaling to that. And then going back into my view, I'll copy this. And of course I have to do settings dot that marketing dismiss offset going back into settings marketing dismiss offset equals to seconds equals to eight okay so now this is uh, set up for going off of the settings so then when if I wanted to change it I could change it in here instead of having to find the view of where it is um, I'm gonna put this onto a new line too all right so let's go ahead and test that out now do a refresh at X looks like that did not work so then I'm gonna do um, instead of that I'll just do seconds offset and now do seconds equals to that and then I'll do hours equals to same type of thing but hours offset So um, this is only so I can actually make it a little bit smarter. So when I'm actually doing this stuff, it's gonna run a little bit better for me in the sense that I can change it really easily. So hours offset, we're gonna have it at zero. And then seconds offset, we'll put it to eight. Let's make sure that's the correct one. Seconds offset, okay, good. So this is now getting our seconds and hours, and we might have to actually turn, keep these as integers. So going back into our settings, take it away from being a string and be zero and eight. I believe that was probably what the problem was, is it has to be an integer, not a string. So I refresh and now there it is. Press exit and there it goes. And then after eight seconds, it should refresh. So I'm just refreshing a few times. Eventually it's gonna actually show up. There it is, okay, cool. So now it works and we can now change this to being, let's say, I don't know, three hours and then second offset doesn't really matter. So if I refresh in here, hit exit, it's gonna now be three every three hours. So the offset is still quite a ways away, right? Um, as we see, as far as the time will show, actually go into our offset to make sure hours settings market offset hours okay so that's gonna be hours and as we see we've got this three here now and that's the hour offset so it's gonna take a while before it actually comes back which is what we want to see all right so if you have any questions on this let me know um, I realize that this function right here is a little complicated um, and that's because of how to shift time zones and how shifting time in general is. Um, so if you want some more data on that, you can go to um, the date time module for Python. Uh, it's a lot of data and there's just a lot of stuff that's covered here um, and it does get a little, little dry. Uh, and that's why I wanted to actually just make the function for you, make it nice and easy. Um, and yeah, so now that we've got that, we've got an offset that works really well for displaying that top marketing message. And of course you could use this for any time string as long as the format is the same as um, the one we set here. As long as it's the same format um, of time using date and time and delta and the time zone of now, as long as it's that format as in a string, um, doing the offset is right here and that will work. All right, so again, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, let's keep going.